Hey, what's going on YouTube? This is your guy Lawrence here. And before I put out a video on how to connect your Xbox One controller to your Galaxy S8 or Android device, particularly anything with USB Type-C, and um, people have issues with it. I had issues with it. Not the model that I used in that video, but when people told me that they were having problems like with blinking and it wasn't working, I tried a different Xbox controller and I got the same, uh, the same results. And the Xbox One controller that I used in the video, I don't remember the model number. So I tried a PS4 controller before and it didn't seem to work, you know, or maybe I didn't give it enough time for just playing around with it. But today I was wondering, let me see if the PS4 controller, you know, works because it def definitely when you connect it to the, the Galaxy S8, it moves on the screen and all that. But if I was to press X to like try to launch the app, it won't work. But if you press O, or square it seems to work on that so the control mapping is just a little messed up so what you'll need is your usb type c connector micro usb cord you know stick that in the ps4 controller all right connect it to your uh, galaxy s8 or whatever android device you got that is usb type c and you can see it lights up it's like a light blue ish dark color or dark blue and um okay so i'm gonna go over here to my apps all right, and you can see X doesn't launch anything, but if I press O, that works, and Square works. Okay, so I'm using the PSP app right now, and I'll show you the Game Boy one, too. What you want to do is you want to go into settings down here. Try to zoom in for you guys. All right, go to controls, control mapping, okay? Directional pads are fine. So what you want to do is start at O. It says CBAX. So you want to change all that. It's going to say, I'm going to still say C afterwards, but just map it anyway. So circle, X, square, triangle. And it still says CBAX, that's fine. Okay. And then uh, the start button. The start button for R2. Get out of that. Options. Okay. All right. Go back. Okay. Let's launch a game. Let's get past all this. Yeah, yeah, all right. See, start button works fine. Okay, play now. Just do a quick little match to show you that it does indeed work. Okay. Let's see, I'm moving with the controller. And that works. And it works pretty well. Like if anything, I, I believe it works better than the Xbox controllers. Is. It should be any PS4 because I tried another PS4 controller and it worked too. Okay, so we're done with that. Let's get out of that. Uh, I launched the Game Boy Advance one. It's just something to do if you guys are bored in your free time and want to play some emulators, get your childhood on. Okay. So the same thing, I just exit out of that, close it. All right, so click whatever game you're gonna use. Okay, you wanna go into settings, input, key mappings, and just map map it all for this one. That's what I did. Right, up, down, select, start, A, B. A, B, okay. Right. That thing should be good after this. Yes, yes. 
just to show you that it does indeed work. Okay, see B, A, so it does work, so try that with the PS4 guys, thanks and all, stay tuned, I'm going to be doing an unboxing hopefully of the iPhone 10. thank you.